Hi, this is Ken Kaplan from Kaplan Cycles and the New England Motorcycle Museum. And today I've got this absolutely awesome 1970 Penton 125. This is one of the last years that it came with the Sox motor, the 125C two-stroke with the giant cylinder pins on it. Really awesome, classic looking bike. It's in really good shape. The, the forks, triple clamps are like brand new. The bars, the original bars are in nice shape, the levers. Um, I've got the actual Magura uh, lever uh, covers here, but for some reason they're not installed on the bike. Uh, we can put those on before we ship it. It has this really cool leather tank bag that I believe is the original 1970 uh, Penton tank bag. It's in mint shape inside and out, and it has a little mounting kit where it mounts to the original tank. I think this is original paint on the tank. It's got some patina on it. We didn't mess with it. Um, we did a compression test on the bike. It has 135 PSI. Uh, we, we cleaned the carburetor, cleaned the air filter, changed the oil. Uh, put a new plug in it, uh, new fuel lines, uh, cleaned the pet cock, cleaned the gas tank out, did a full museum quality detail on the bike, cleaned it up front to back, and got it running, and it ran awesome. Then it stopped running. We couldn't figure out why. It wasn't getting, it wasn't, uh, getting smart, but it wasn't firing. So uh, the technician note here says that he um, pulled the flywheel, uh, the cover of the flywheel off, and the flywheel key had sheared. Apparently it needs a new flywheel rotor, because um, he replaced the key that ran for a little while, and then it stopped going again. So it broke the flywheel key twice. Uh, we have about 60 bikes waiting to be re restored. We don't have the time to do this one right now. So we are um, going to uh, sell the bike as is. Um, like I said, it ran beautifully until the, the uh, flywheel key shear. This, this bike, this Penton 125 six days is a real head turner and it's a survivor of both races in the test of time. It's a lightweight motorcycle. It has a Sox 125 two stroke engine and uh, was manufactured by KTM for serious competition. Designed by Motorcycle Hall of Famer John Penton, this Enduro winner is not only famous for its performance during the U.S. International Six Day Trial, but also its superb handling and looks. It's being sold as is. It's a beautiful and unique antique bike, um, and uh, it's definitely a good investment. We put about $1,600 into the parts of labor into it, and um, like we said, it's got plenty of engine compression. The transmission shifted good. Uh, it's, got, it's got a ton of, kicks over and it's got a lot of compression. Um, it has the original seat on it with the KTM logo on there. You can see the seat's got a rip on the side. We didn't mess with that. We didn't uh, just left it like it is. And like I said, the bike's being sold as is. Forks are in beautiful shape. Rims look good. If you have any questions about the bike, give us a call. 860-454-7024. The original uh, gas cap's kind of a cool design. It spins to the side and then pops up. Inside the tank looks mint, nice and clean inside there. So our guys just cleaned it out. So, beautiful bike, grips and levers are all in good shape, the bars look great. Uh, definitely a fantastic investment. Uh, definitely a bike worthy of putting a little sweat equity, equity into. The NAD, the NADA value of this bike restored is $5,640. We just put close to $1,700 into it, plus the cost of the bike. So, um, you got a good start towards a, a museum quality, antique, classic dirt bike here. So. Reminds me of Malcolm Smith on any Sunday, the original movie uh, back when they were riding his bike. So good luck fitting on the bike. I'm gonna roll her into the museum, put her on display uh, for everybody to look at until it goes to its new home. Good luck fitting on it. God bless America.